Hey, what's happening everybody? My name is Ben Daniel and welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody's doing well, keeping well, staying strong, staying healthy, smelling good. And thanks in advance for uh, watching this video. So today I got another one to do with decants of Middle Eastern fragrances, clones inspired by alternatives. So this is it. I got two of them and I want to give a shout out to Mr. Sowick. I hope I'm pronouncing his name correct. Uh, from right here in Bangalore, he runs a decanting business of fragrances called Scent Sense over there. So I came across his profile on Reddit a couple of days ago, I think about a week and a half ago. I had no clue that there was an Indian fragrance community that's really prevalent and kind of like blowing up on Reddit over there. I didn't know that they were spread out on Reddit. I don't use Reddit, period, at all. So I'm not sure how I even came across his profile. And when I did, I checked out his catalog. He's got a catalog of Google Sheets for ordering his decants. And I'm putting his WhatsApp number in the description so you can get in touch with Mr. Sowick. And he will send you that link to that decant list. So he's got designers. He's got Middle Eastern clones, and he's also got a whole bunch of niche, 8 mil decans of niche fragrances. A lot of them. I'm thinking of getting some. I'm not into niche fragrances at all, but most probably I might pick it. So I looked at his catalog, his list of decans, 8 mil, and I decided to go for these two from Lataf. I wanted to try them out because I've heard a lot about them. So... The name of his side hustle or his business is called Scent Sense, and here they are, 8 mil bottle decants. The first one I got, okay, let's start with this one, is Latafa Fakar Extrait and Latafa Kayet Intense. So I'm going to put that up there, and let me start with this one. Okay, let's go with Latafa Fakar Extract. So it's an 8mm bottle, very simple. I've used quite a lot of it. And it's very nice packaging, came in uh, in a box. Oh yeah, and he also sent me some candy. So <laughs> that's really something nice. So thanks a lot for the candy, Mr. Sowick. All right, Scent Sense Latafa Fakar Extract. I'm sure you've probably seen a lot of reviews on this. And that's why I want to get into a little decanting rather than go for the full bottle because I'm not in the position right now or I just don't feel like buying fragrances anymore i'm kind of like stopping right now i got enough quite a lot to use so i like the decant stuff over here it's better get an eight mil test it out see if it's full bottle worthy so fakar gold extract is a clone of one million parfum according to many reviewers right here on youtube fragrantica and the note breakdown is grapefruit pepper cardamom tuberous solar notes what in the world is a solar note? I have no clue. And Artemisia, Amber, Cashmirin, Labdanum, and Leather. So it has kind of similar notes to the 1 million OG. Now, I've, I've had the 1 million OG. I have 1 million Privé. I had 1 million Cologne. I had 1 million Absolute. And I even tried out 1 million Lucky. I have never tried out the 1 million Parfum. So I got no clue how it smells. I think I've seen it in the fragrance store, but maybe next time I'll try it out. So I can't really tell you how the OG smells according to this. I'm just basing this not just on an 8 mil decan, but the juice inside it of Latafa Fakar Extrait. And that's the gold bottle. There is a Latafa Fakar for women, and there's a Fakar Black, which is the YSL Y EDP clone. That's the gold bottle. And Fragrantica, for some reason, I've said this is for women. Uh, I'm going to say right now, it's not even unisex. This is hardcore manly. So to my nose, it's warm. It's spicy. It's got that woody vibe. It's kind of leathery, not completely strong leather. It's musky, and it's pretty strong on the amber. I have no clue what is a solar note, or what is a lunar note, or what is a planetary note. So again, Paco Rabanne sometimes... They go kind of crazy, I guess. <laughs> All right. So to me, it's very classy. It's very pleasant. I wouldn't say it's a very interesting fragrance. It's slightly interesting compared to 1 million Privé and Lucky and the others I've had before. I find this okay. It's all right. And it's definitely masculine. There's nothing 
feminine about it, but if you, as a female, want to wear masculine or manly fragrances, you can go ahead, rock it. That, that's your business. That's your choice. It's very versatile. I would never say that this is a formal or a semi-formal fragrance. I would say this is more of a casual fragrance. And it's sweet, but it's not heavy. Absolutely not beast mode. In terms of longevity, on my skin, my clothes, when I received it a couple about a week ago now, I sprayed it initially and I smelled it and I waited for about a day or two and I let it rest and I used it again. It's quite a lot over there. I get close to five hours and with moderate one hour projection. So it's absolutely not beast mode. I'm not sure what one million perfume in terms of longevity, sillage and projection is, but I'm told and I've checked out some reviews that it's pretty powerful, pretty strong. Supposed to be the best from the one million lineup. So maybe what I'm going to do is uh, we're right now in towards the end of June. we got two more weeks remaining. I'm going to keep this aside in a cool dark place. Let it macerate just like with other Middle Eastern fragrances, especially uh, Paris Corner Fragrance World and uh, Latafa, Rasasi and the others out there. you got to let it macerate and mature for some time. So I'm going to put this aside, come back to it probably during the first week of July and just see in terms of longevity and projection if it increases. But for right now, Five hours, moderate one hour projection. Got that beautiful leather, musky amber with that cashmere and that grapefruit and pepper. You get a, get a lot of that cardamom over there. I'm not sure what tuberous smells like, but the grapefruit dissipates really quick. So it always dries down to that spicy, woody leather and amber vibe. But the question is this. Based on the decant from Scent Sense, Mr. Saw Mr. Sawick. Is this bottle worth it? Is it a full bottle retail price of getting the full bottle, the big bottle? And to my nose, personally, no. I would not go for the full bottle. I'm happy with the decan. Probably invest in another decan if I run out of this. 8 mil, I'm assuming you get about 80 sprays. If it's about 10 sprays a mil, probably a bit less, but it's good to go. It lasts you for a couple of weeks, probably for a whole month if you go easy on it. And I go with usually about 5 to 6 sprays. That's how I get 5 hours one hour projection but not to me not to spend my money getting a full bottle no i would wait and see maybe if things improve after some time i like the smell but it's nothing interesting about it to me the best one million will always be the og and one million privé and i like one million lucky i have a clone of that from paris corner but i don't have the full bottle the og of one million lucky but to my nose if this is what one million perfume smells like it's okay it's not that great. It's classy, it's pleasant, it's versatile. It's kind of sweet, not too heavy, but absolutely not very interesting. I guess Paco Rabanne can't do anything more after 1 million perfume. He can't do any other 1 million after it. So it's done and done with. All right, so that's my take on Latafa Fakar X Straight 8 mil decant from Sensets. The next one. <laughs> is Latafa Kaed Intense. This is from the Kaed lineup. There's the Kaed regular one, which is a gold bottle. My son has that. He has a 30 mil of that. That's heavy on the, ro the rose and the oud, and he likes that very much. And that's a clone of a Dunhill Icon Absolute. Then there's another Kaed Shazab. I don't know what that's cloning on alternative, but this one, Latafa Kaid Intense. I think it came out last year, 2023, if I'm not mistaken. And this is supposedly, according to some reviewers on Fragrantica and uh, right here on YouTube, they've said it's a clone of Givenchy Gentleman Reserve Privé. Big word, big term, big name for a fragrance. So I've had two Givenchy fragrances before. I don't have them anymore. And if that's what it is, then that's what it is. I don't know what that smells like. I've never seen Gentleman Reserve Privé anywhere. I don't think they're in the fragrance stores. I'm not even sure if it's considered as a designer fragrance or as a niche fragrance. So the note breakdown for Latafa Kaid Intense. And check out the juice there. Compare it to this one over here. You can see like... That is heavy looking juice. Okay, I'm going to put that in there, keep that aside, and let's go into the review for this one. Okay, honey, yes, already I'm liking it. Tobacco, yes, cinnamon, absolutely, vanilla, cacao, 
There, I'm sold on this. Patchouli, myrrh, amber, styrax, and labdanum. It, if I had to classify this juice according to my own terms, I'm not a, a perfumologist or a perfumer, I would say it's hardcore power juice, hardcore exquisite elegant juice, very elegant, very chocolatey kind of vibe. It is gorgeous. It is absolutely masculine, manly. It is an intense, strong fragrance. It's warm. It's spicy. It's absolutely sweet with that honey and that cacao and that amber over there. It's kind of powdery, but it's also very strong. I get a lot of leather vibe from it. I'm not sure. Leather is not listed as a note in the note breakdown for Kyade Intense. But the leather I get from it is not animalic. It's not a nasty, rough kind of leather. It's smooth, elegant, exquisite, and definitely semi-formal to formal wear. And in terms of longevity, folks, on my clothes, since I got it and I've kept it aside after a few days, again, using it, I get close to seven hours and two hours of projection. Now, some people in Fragrantica said, keep it aside for one month, which is true, again, with a lot of Middle Eastern fragrances. Keep it aside for easily three weeks to a month and try it again. You're going to get more longevity, more projection. And just as I'm going to do with this one, I'm keeping Latafa Kite Intense aside for the next two weeks, trying it out back in July. And let's see if the projection and the longevity and performance increases. To me, I am very impressed by this. So I'm glad that I managed to get this without spending money on the big bottle and get this in an 8 mil decan. So the question is, is this worthy personally to me? My opinion, absolutely. More than this one. More than Fakar X Straight. This one is worthy of a big bottle. And I may... I'm not sure. Maybe I might pick it up. So I'm very impressed. Very gorgeous, elegant, manly, powdery, sweet, warm, spicy, lovely fragrance. Lovely. So that's it. That's my take on these two right here. I'm going to put them on top of each other. <laughs> Latafa Fakar Extract, Latafa Kaid Intense. Again, from Mr. Sawik, Run Sense Sense. Get his catalog, get in touch with him. And um, check out what he's got for decants out there, based right here in Bangalore. Ships all across the country. All right, take care, everybody. I got a lot more reviews coming up. This time it might be some full bottles. I got a big surprise coming up. I'm going to be talking about my top 10 clone videos, clone fragrances for the monsoon. So I guess uh, not many people are interested in designer ones. They're probably interested in clone ones because they're more affordable. Okay, so to my nose, Latafa Kaid Intense works out. I like this one, but this one is much more better. Absolutely worthy of a big bottle. Okay, take care, and I'll see you when I see you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.